so we are doing a bunch of things. It starts with very basic uh, bots deployment uh, for uh, anything that's manual operation centric kind of stuff uh, to uh, more advanced stuff in how we calculate uh, risk models, uh, regulatory reporting um, and stuff like that. Um, we, we have there is also in HR side, right, when we do um, like uh, talent mapping and um, also in servicing uh, bots, for instance, right, in HR and finance and other stuff. So every area has opportunities to have basic uh, OCR kind of capabilities, uh, ICR, OCR kind of capabilities, as well as uh, more advanced ML models for risk and regulatory kind of calculations. First of all, at the pace at which regulations are changing, it's a survival. <laughs> like if you don't use AIML, then the amount of work you need to do to kind of prove an adherence to a regulation tends to be a lot more heavier. Um, second thing is, uh, when it can be automated, why wouldn't you automate, right? So that's another, like I personally would like to automate anything that a machine can do and reduce only the things that require a human cognition to be left to a human. So I think there is a lot of work going on, but there is a lot more that is uh, possible. We have enormous stuff going in all of these areas, like I said, from the very basics to the extreme innovation and automation, we will just continue to do it, more of it. Uh, there's nothing net new that, that is kind of brand new that hasn't been explored. It's just that more of it, more pervasiveness of it. It's more of a employees prerogative than an organization prerogative like I feel like hunger has to be from within and I was talking to someone else uh, I, I'm a big fan of Daniel Pink's book called Drive like people need to have passion to master their craft right if they have that focus and personal mastery then they automatically tend to learn from every source that they have so in essence, organizations can only provide the frameworks and the tools like, for instance, you might provide Pluralsight, Udemy, or whatever training centers that you can provide online trainings. And, but the communities of practice and all these things are things that individual employees have to have a passion towards, both in learning and sharing that knowledge. You know, it's amazing just to see how many people with the data and the analytics and passion around AIML are in this place. Um, I've seen people from product companies to people from uh, practitioners on the business side to uh, in, in, anywhere in between. So pretty phenomenal to be here. Thank you. Thank you.